Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rebecca and on this channel I go for all things accounting, finance, Excel and investment related. So if you like this kind of content, then please do consider subscribing. And otherwise, as always, I'm going to jump straight into today's video. So what we're going to focus on today is discounts. So let's imagine that, that we run a company and we have a customer who continuously buys quite a large volume of goods from us on a monthly basis. And so we decide that next month we're going to give them a discount. But we need to know how do we account for that in the T accounts. So the first thing we've got to remember is that when we're recording a sale originally, so just a sales invoice with a customer, we're going to credit sales in the income statement and then we're going to debit the sales ledger control account as an asset. So where that customer has bought the goods on credit, we record that in the sales ledger control account. Now, when that customer makes a payment, we would credit the sales ledger control account and debit the bank. Now, the slight difference is when we've got discounts that we've allowed to that individual customer, what we need to do is firstly, we need to debit discounts allowed with the net value of the invoice. So let's just imagine over here, I'm just going to build up a little invoice. Let's just say our net is 100, our VAT is 20 and our gross is 120 pounds. So this is the discounts that we have allowed for that individual customer. So we want to record the net here as a debit to discounts allowed of 100 pounds, just like that. Now, in terms of the VAT aspect, what we need to do is to debit the VAT control account with the VAT. And the thought process behind why that's a debit in the VAT control account is because when you think of the recording of an invoice originally, we have to credit the VAT control account because we're increasing the amount of VAT that we owe back to HMRC because that's VAT that we have recovered on behalf of HMRC from our customers. So if we give them a discount, then we then need to reduce the total VAT due to HMRC. So the way that we do that is to debit the VAT control account, i.e. reducing the total amount of VAT due to HMRC. Now the gross of that invoice, so the £120, will need to go as a credit to the sales ledger control account. And if we really think about why that is again for just a minute, when we've got the sales ledger control account sat in the balance sheet or statement of financial position, it's a debit. And it's a debit because it shows the amount of money that we are owed from customers to our business. So it's an asset in effect. So it's sat again as a positive value, as a debit on the balance sheet. Now, when we give a discount allowed to a customer, we're basically saying that the total amount that they owe us back from a statement is being reduced. So we're reducing the overall total that a customer owes back to us. So if we were to increase the amount that a customer owes us, we would be debiting the sales ledger control account, i.e. increasing the asset that we have sat on the balance sheet. Whereas when we're reducing it, we need to credit the sales ledger control account. So therefore reducing the overall balance that that particular customer owes our business. So let's just imagine that we've got other invoices on here. So let's just say, let's create a sales account down here for a minute. So say that this one customer already has invoice one with us. So the net of the sales invoice that they owe us is £1,000. There's VAT on there at 20%. So let's just call this invoice one and that's £1,000 times by 0.2, which gives us the £200. And if we were to record that in the sales ledger control account for the gross value of that invoice, we would have £1,200 sat in the sales ledger control account. So at the end of the month, we send this particular customer a statement which shows all of the invoices and all of the discounts that have been applied to their account. So it's currently showing at the moment that they owe us 
a total of £1,080. So when they make the payment to us, they're going to just pay us £1,080. They're not going to pay us individually for sales invoices and discounts and credit notes. They're going to pay it all in one lump sum. So when we look at the bank here, we're going to receive that value in here. So that is a receipt. So it's going to be on the debit side of the bank and it's £1,080. And then over here, we've got a credit to the sales ledger control account of the £1,080. So when we total these up now, you can see that there's no balance carried forward in the sales ledger control account because everything that was due in the sales ledger control account has been paid for. So that was just quite a short video on discounts allowed and the treatment there with the double entry and T accounts. So if you found the video useful, um, I'd be grateful if you gave it a thumbs up. As always, consider subscribing and I shall see you on the next video.